Temperatures this week will have an effect on high school football practices. WFXR's Michael Doty visited Patrick Henry High School today and has an update on how the Patriots are approaching things on the gridiron with less than a week to go until the season kicks off. I'm here at Patrick Henry High School and whew, it is hot outside. Not the best day to have a football practice, but the Patriots have to be ready for their week one game against Brookville to ensure player safety with this heat out. Practice may look a little bit different this week. I mean, it is what it is. You know, try to get the work in that you can get in. Uh, if you don't get physical work in, make sure you get the mental work in. And, uh, you know, make sure that uh, kids uh, know their assignments and are ready to execute them Friday. Because of the high temperatures this week, players will be in shells, which is just a helmet, shoulder pads, and a practice jersey. This will help the players stay a bit cooler than being in full pads. They will also break for water about every 20 minutes, which lowers the chance they will develop a heat-related illness. We have about 40 gallons of water that is on the sidelines and the ability to refill if necessary. Most of it probably will be dumped on their heads and not end up inside, but, you know, horse to water and whatnot. But no, they're usually very good, our, our kids are. The Patriots also play on a turf field. Its surface gets a lot hotter than on traditional grass. They retain the heat and it just sucks the heat into the field and uh, makes it that much hotter. Fortunately, Patrick Henry has veteran leadership and typically know what to do when the weather gets hot. So far, no heat-related illnesses have occurred in the 20-plus years Gene Brown has been at Patrick Henry. For these players back here, this is nothing they haven't experienced before and the coaches are confident they will have efficient and safe practices throughout the week. Reporting from Patrick Henry High School in Roanoke, Michael Doty, WFXR News.